Welcome to a test flight of the new firmware for the DJI Mini 3 Pro. We, I was just uh, announced the other day that uh, there was a new firmware available that's called 01000600 and uh, it doesn't bring many new things to the drone other than uh, support for the goggles and uh, the motion stick but uh, that shouldn't prevent us from taking a, a small flight here and also my father he asked me to inspect sort of a bird's nest over here somewhere so that is a great opportunity just to test out the firmware, just to see if there's anything else yeah, going on. Yeah, that, it's, a, <laughs> it's really windy today. <laughs> so let's see the other side of here. Go back here and I go up so we can see the plot. Yes, so it's in the, the low part there. So let's just go. Near the ceiling here? Yeah, there it is here. Måske. Der. Så er vi der. Der er der. Det er sgu nok der. Ja, but it's not easy to see. Det er ikke nemt at se, om der er noget der. Nej. <laughs> nej, nej. Men der er altså et hul derhen. Det should be the nest, uh, but that's uh, the, yeah, the bird is no longer there. So uh, we just thought it would be fun to see if we could spot where this hawk was uh, once, uh, yeah, where the hawk raised its kids. So, uh, so let me just tell you what you're getting with this firmware. It's adding support for the DJI Goggles 2 and the Goggles Entra and the DJI RC motion controller. And I have none of those, so... Uh, <laughs> so the purpose of this test flight is simply just to see if uh, some, something has been broken. It requires uh, the 110 of the DJI Fly app. Uh, to take advantage of it. So let's just jump in here and have a look what we have. I updated everything. So we have the right uh, version of the DJI Fly app, so it should be a nice fit with those. And as I said, I'm here at uh, my father's uh, plot. It's a nice place to fly your drone. It's a little bit windy today. So. So you see, if the neighbors are in here somewhere. <laughs> see, there's a, a little bit of a focus issue here with the 2x. I don't know. See, I have a hard time getting focus. Let's just try and f f zoom out. So you see? I don't know if this is specific for this drone, as uh, the Mini 3 Pro that I'm flying here is actually a new one. I did a complete unboxing and setup of uh, for first time flyers for beginners uh, the other day, and I'll make sure to link that video up here somewhere. But it does seem that uh, this one has a kind of a focus issue. Let's just try it again here. So we're sitting in there somewhere. Just position it here in front. See what's going on. Yeah, it's very easy. So, let's just see. If I zoom in. See, this one is not. It tries to focus, but it's not possible for it to do it. Maybe I need to talk with the, the supplier about this. <laughs> Have you seen similar issues? Then let me know in the comments. Just let's get it out here. So we can see if I let's just fly closer here. So if I don't zoom. See, it's sharp. <laughs> so it's difficult for me to say if this is a fault related to the drone or if it is caused by the firmware. It's likely a failure in the drone. 
insufficient card space. Oh, awesome. You need to take a look at that. So now it's stopped recording. I used the SD card for something else, so this is most likely why it's filled up with a lot of garbage. So of course I should have cleared that out before I took this test flight. I heard some rumors uh, that uh, the maximum altitude would be uh, limited uh, to 120 meters, uh, maximum in the UI. Uh, but if I go in here, it seems that I can still, at least with this version of uh, the Fly app, I can still set it uh, higher than this. But according to the legal requirement, we have to stay below 120 meters. So there's no reason to set it higher than that. So let's just try uh, one of the things that I know would put uh, the drone a little bit to work here. And that is, uh, of course, the tracking feature. And let's just save a little bit of space here <laughs> on the SD card. I run out of um, yeah, room on uh, the main SD card, so I had to switch to use the internal storage. So I will use that very, very fast because we only have eight gigabytes of storage. So, uh, so let's just try it here with the screen recorder running. You see, I put uh, a tracking on the boat here and it does recognize that it is a boat. So let's just go up here and maybe I can do a point of interest. I can make it go around the boat. Subject too far. So we go a little bit closer here. Like this. And then point of interest, yes. Oh. Point of interest. Go. So now it's floating around the boat here. And we need to, of course, to be a little bit careful because we don't have any protection on the sides here. So, aircraft storage is full. So that's what we're getting from this trip. <laughs> If I stop it here, it still locks on the boat. So if I fly this way, it will keep it in focus. And I can go around it. And if I back away, it will still try to keep the boat in focus or in center. Not in focus. It actually seems uh, that the focus issue is also present on the normal view. Let's bring the drone back. We use the sneaky one here, the return to home. <laughs> so I really don't understand why the default height of uh, the return to home is 100 meters, because uh, <laughs> as you can see here, we are running into all sorts of problems with the high wind warnings and, and stuff like that in that altitude. Yeah. So now we are landing. And I'll probably land it manually. <laughs> no, it's coming down nicely. Feel it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That that turned out pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so that concluded our test flight with the, the new firmware with the GGI RC, the 01000600. And everything seemed to work out fine, apart from maybe a problem with the camera uh, on this specific uh, drone. Let me know if you have tried to update as well, and uh, if you have run into the same problems, uh, not being able to have a razor sharp focus uh, when you zoom in the camera. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you around.